Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this quick video of how to make the Thunderbolt engine. So let's just jump right in, shall we? So the Thunderbolt engine is a prop engine made for solar nations. It's a low-tech prop engine. And here we are, engine, it's the PB38 or port bearing version 38. Thunderbolt 64 torque keys uh, toggle engine half power toggle engine full power all right so I'm gonna go ahead and break it down and then we will uh, build it uh, my wife has to get on here in a little bit well not actually not on here but she has to do her live stream here pretty soon um, if you're interested in looking at her live stream she live streams on twitch known as dark Athena she plays games and stuff of this nature it's pretty cool go ahead check her out all right so first we're gonna start with our structural fuselage and of course I'm gonna speed this up so you have to listen to me ramble. All right, next you want a Clampotron Docking Junior Doohickey. Next one we want is a small inline reaction wheel. All right, I held down Alt for that. Alt click copies the part. All right, so basically I'm counting the torque right now. I wanted 65. You could do more if you want, but it's uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. <clears throat> and this one will bring it to 65. All right, so now we need a way to control our engine there. All right, now we want these batteries. As we all know, these batteries are physics-less from the previous videos. So definitely, these will help us. And of course, if I want to go crazy with it, I can just kind of do something like this. All right, now you want um, toggle snap, bring it down, hold down shift, bring it down. Okay, it's right in the middle. Turn off toggle snap, then pull this back. There we go. And no, let's bring this just a pinch off like that, there we go. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I kind of jumped the gun here. I need to put on some uh, service base there we go now of course you can make this engine way tighter way smaller and cracking the hell out of it but this is the engine for the uh, Thunderbolt engine that's been uh, used on the stallion or the solar nations episodes All right, line it up so it's just barely touching. Got a nice little crack down the middle there. All right, let's grab another Clampotron. All right, so the difference is with this engine, of course, it uses uh, it uses the Place Anywhere linear RCS ports. Uh, therefore, the PB or port bearing 38, meaning it's the 38th version or design of this engine. So we're gonna need some thermometers. Yes, yes, put the, make sure the kitty is contained. All right, so you just want barely be able to see some cracks through here. Just matter of fact, I'll bring them in just a little bit more, but you want to see some separation between the thermometers. Now, let's use the RCS ports for the port bearing. Now you want the port bearing to barely, just barely, touch inside of the graphic plane here, or the mesh, the hip box as it is. So basically, like I said before, this acts as a spring. So it can contain this together a lot better. And of course you have the uh, holding that it's in. So it makes for a pretty good, a pretty good and pretty stable engine. Now this one's a little trickier. You wanna put the RCS port just shy of this 
of the middle of this crest right here. Because you got to remember that the mesh itself does not actually go over the edge and down the side. It goes completely over. So this technically is pretty darn deep inside the mesh already, which, you know, if you're not careful, will invite the Kraken. Now, in Solar Nations, I do use BD Armory, especially the AI flight computer. And the flight computer tries to move out of the way when you dis dis uh, when you take this off, when you decouple it from the main craft. The reason is, is because it thinks there's a craft in front of it, so it tries to move out of the way. In order to defeat this, make sure that there is a control point already selected. So, in this case, simply get a docking port and then go to your action group and custom one get rid of that click on the docking port hit control from here as well as you know let's say decouple so that we can actually start the uh, engine by separating it from the main craft in this instance as soon as you hit the number one key not only are you, contr are you controlling the craft from in front but the AI sees that this other craft that's behind it is behind it it doesn't have to move out of the way and so you don't have to worry about the AI flying all weird directions and whatnot now of course we're going to use the AVT1 winglets because for the solar nations uh, tech tree they are the lightest and the best at what they do we're gonna go for a 45 degree angle you can go faster if you're in the air already and you have the ability to get the craft in the air there's a way to go faster and that is to actually tilt it a little more less 45 degree angle so it digs into the incoming air a lot better allowing you to be propelled faster however these fighters while fast is great they're also meant to do twirls and and dance around in the sky and do dog fights in which case 45 degrees gives them a little bit more umph when they go from 0 to 60. It gives you better acceleration. Okay, I jumped the, the gun again. Uh, I meant to uh, do something real quick before we even get started. Grab your decoupler. Make sure you're on angular snap. Bring it up. Excuse me, toggle snap. Now you're going to have to go through here and click on each of these. Make sure your strut is to auto for heaviest part and your rigid attachment is on. You could just use rigid attachment only, but auto strut to the heaviest part does help. All right, here it is pretty much the Thunderbolt engine and uh, let's go ahead and hit the number one key. That should release it. Make sure we hit, uh, well, you can use the bracket key, but I have a mod that allows me to hit alt and click in order to switch to another part. It's called Easy Vessel Switcher. It's a highly recommended mod. Let's hold down the Q and the E. Looks like it spins pretty well. Hold on F12. Let's check it out. Ah, very nice. All right, so basically the finish, finishing touches to this would of course be your action groups. And you'd come into here, uh, number one key, you would add some more stuff like you deactivate uh, a whole bunch of these, for instance. And this would allow you to spool up the prop propeller engine without worrying about taking off. Go to custom two for action group two, and then hit the activate. So this will allow you to go full throttle and you'll be able to take off easy. Now, there's also a way to get to your landing speed and that would be something like number three. And just, for instance, deactivating maybe half of these. But if you de deactivate about half of them, then the blade will, of course, the prop will of course slow down, giving you less thrust meaning that your plane will slowly fall out of the sky for a controlled landing. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. Uh, remember to uh, go to on Discord, link below. There are craft files available for Solar Nations 
in Discord as well as a lot of different uh, uh, like uh, flags and whatnot you can look at. But if you have any ideas, there are Solar Nation ideas. You can go ahead and post your ideas on what the next Solar Nations should be or what they should focus on or even different craft ideas that you have for the tech that is available. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful week. And I am Veos, signing off, and have a good night. <laughs>